Hey there, everybody. I'm Brad, the Green Knight of the Co-op Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Today, we are going to hop right into the Seamoth and make our way towards the Sunbeam Landing Site. See if we can get rescued. Get off this miserable ocean planet. Like I've said before, I love being out on the water, but that's like being on the water, not being in it with all the creatures that want to nibble my giblets. All right, so let's hop on and make our way towards the Sunbeam Landing Site, which is a little over a kilometer that way, but as long as we stay towards the surface, I think we'll avoid most of the really bad munchy creatures. At least the shallows are gorgeous. Oh, another... Okay, let's turn around for a second, get back to the <laughs> lead, to the uh, landing pod, and uh, yeah, see what that message is all about. I wonder if it's a Sunbeam trying to contact me, telling me, hey, we're going to be there. Be there soon. What's your message? May I pre-record a distress call? Oh, okay. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Okay. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. Life pod six. Okay, so this is another one where we gotta find out where they're hiding. Uh, crew requested assistance navigating radiation, sunk up to approximately a hundred meters, located in an area with dense red grass near a number of natural arches and rock stacks. Transmission origin approximately four hundred meters west northwest of Life Pod 4's last lo known location. Okay. I don't know if we found Life Pod 4 yet. All right. Well, let's uh, get back in the Seamoth and make our way back to the landing site. Because we got 27 minutes left until the Sunbeam gets here. Not entirely sure how that equates to in-game daytime, but uh, it won't be very long. So. I wonder what my role was on the Aurora as, like, like my character. Like, what am I, an engineer? A tourist? Uh, was I helping to build the phase gate that they were talking about in one of those data banks? Uh, yeah, what was I doing on the Aurora? I wonder if we'll figure that out as the story goes. Alright, we're less than half a kilometer away. Whoa. That suddenly got deep. Yeah, we're less than half a kilometer away, so that's... We're making good progress. Get there pretty quickly, I'm guessing. Oh, looks like the ground makes an upward turn over in this area. Whoa, what is... Another message, really? Should we go back or continue? Where the heck am I? Okay, it's an island. With what looks like some sort of really big alien structure on the end of it. Um, I say... Mass of energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. I say we go back and check that message. Re just really quick. It, it, it seems to take us less than like a minute to travel this distance. I really wish I had a radio built onto this um, sea moth. That'd be awesome. So then I wouldn't have to keep going back, back and forth. Alright, what's our message now? Partially translated broadcast. New biological subject designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. What the fuck? That does sound good. Back in the Seamoth. Alright. Now hopefully we don't receive another freaking distress call or message on the way there. Because this time I'm not turning around. This time I want to get to that island. Find out what's going on. Nine new biological subjects detected. Are they talking about us? And what are these agents? Creepy. Some of that was garbled. I wonder if it was anything important. Now, you know how your coffee, like when it goes cold, it tends to kind of just go room temperature, so it's not really good? 
my coffee went through and went straight to cold, like really cold. Is it because my mug is ceramic, or is my room actually colder than it feels? I don't know. A little bit of a shelf drop here. It's kind of creepy. All right, we're at the island, and I see a nice little parking spot for our little sea moth. Little sea moth, my little sea moth. <laughs> yeah, let's park it right here. Ow! I'm okay. Oh shit! Cave crawlers. Uh, but, but where is it? Get in there. Fire! Take care now. Bye bye then. Well, all right, where am I? Boabo tree. Strange. High water content. Ooh. I think I already have a lot of water on me, though. I'm getting low, though. Let's, um... You know, as a, as a biologist, I do like collecting specimens whenever possible. So let's grab a few samples of this bubble. Oh. Inventory full. All right, let's eat oh. it. Ow! What the... Where are you, son of a bitch? Fly! Okay, let's uh, gather a piece of this and... I can't store it on it, no. Can I store it on you? Damn, no room. Uh, let's take the lithium and a few other things. Uh, actually, let's store the lithium. On there, and I'll just drop a few of these. I could drop all that titanium. I don't need it. And the lead, lead's easy to come by. It's good. I want to make sure I have space for that. You know? But yeah, but you know, we'll grab that uh thing and take it back for sampling. I want to explore that giant alien thingy. Whoa, that's cool. And I guess here's the spot they want me to be at for when they come discover where I am. Alright. Oh. Whoa! I didn't know I could grab the rocks. Don't get crushed. Whoa. Game froze for a second. Hello. Purple tablet fragment. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands, of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a piece, a precise physical copy of this device if necessary. Force field control. I think the name is pretty self-explanatory. I probably don't need to read about it. Oh. Okay, so if I find a purple tablet, I'll be able to kill that force field. Let's see if we can find one. Huh? Gotta be like one around here somewhere. Aha! Guess his intuition pays off. You know, that's video gamer's intuition. You know, if there's a door if there's a door that requires a key. He is probably nearby. Let's go check that out, shall we? I hope my shins forgive me for that. Okay. That was easy. Well, it ate it. But it worked! Alright. Let's see what this is all about. Indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. Translation foreign building really strong. No language attempting translation. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It's likely a solid state computer, although there's no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. 
It is likely the alien species which designated this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically de developed than the common human. Further research required. What an eerily silent place. I wonder what this place was like when it was inhabited. An ion cube, huh? What are you about? I'm not going to get radiation from that, am I? High capacity alien energy source. Awesome. Ooh, another ion cube. These will probably be very useful to me. Hell, if I get back to Federation space and can bring back all this alien technology with me, the better. Unknown language. Attempting translation. This data set appears to be a multidimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it's possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Uh, construction materials, power, layout, control. Okay, you guys can just pause and read this at your leisure. It doesn't seem too important. Ooh, what's your this? best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Whoa! It just grabbed me. Oh fuck! Oh, this is cool. A crazy elevator. And dropped. I guess there's no force field active right now. Okay. Ooh, it's a giant moon pool room. I don't want to go out there right now, though. That's, that's just creepy. So I could have probably parked my uh, sea moths down here. Hello? Are you just some sort of light that activates on our approach or something? Ooh, this looks cool. An alien rifle? Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Aw, that looks awesome. Should I go up or should I go this way? Oh, the light beckons. Ooh! Alien arch. Structure's intended purpose is unclear. Ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network. anything with it right now. All right, let's go up. Ooh, purple tablet. That could be useful. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, let's keep running. I'm running out of time before the sunbeam gets here. I want to get in, find out what we can about this place, and get out. Ooh, alien device. Doesn't like being scanned very much. Doomsday device. <laughs> Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Oh, goody. So, these aliens made a doomsday device? That doesn't sound good. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. And I have the key. Guess who's thinking ahead? This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead, or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed by 
routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. That means the sunbeam. And this is probably what knocked the aurora out of the sky. Um, shut it down. Oh god. Whoa. What? Alien eye thingy. Oh no. Stab. Aww. Don't stabby stab. That hurts. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Oh, well, 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 shit. Sure. Um. Oh damn. We need to get to the surface. I can't shut this thing down. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. We'll have to explore those later. Right now, we need to get to the surface and make some sort of warning to tell the sunbeam, do not come down here. It's not a good idea. Man, if they, if they could just hang out in orbit while we figure out how to disable this uh, base thingy, this base weapon thingy, then that'll probably be good for us. All right, we made it out to the surface in time. Um, but now what? How do I shut this thing off? I mean, I can't, I, I guess I can't shut it off. Can I arrange some rocks or something like that? Whoa, no, no, I want, I want to pick... Damn it. All right. Let's try and arrange some of these rocks in, like, a, I guess some sort of pattern, maybe. That'll say, hey, fuckheads, don't come this way. Don't roll off into the sea. Damn you. Are they floating? What the? Do these rocks float? Yeah, I guess they kind of do. Okay. Well... Right. Well, this is a fine pickle that we found ourselves in. Well, I guess all we can do is sit here and wait. And take a drink. I guess I have about four minutes until the sunbeam gets here. Might as well explore and see if there's maybe scannable stuff nearby. Oh, shale. <laughs> see, it's funny because it's like, oh, hell, but not exactly. I'm funny, damn it. That sand looks a lot different from... Ooh. Moon pool fragment. Ah! The moon pool is like my favorite building. Man, if I can build that, that'd be awesome. All right, well, when this ticks down to exactly two minutes left, then I'll uh, head back up. What is this? You're a knight. Uranonite? That reminds me of something Tran and I once talked about. <laughs> if Dragonite was to have a mega evolution, would it be called Dragonite or something like that? Dragonite? Dragonite Knight? Or something like that? It's very weird. Well, I hope whatever I'm infected with, we can find out a way to cure it back on, I guess, Earth. All right, 45 seconds till the um, sunbeam gets here. I hope this works. I want to get off. I want to go home. See my dog. Or whatever equates to a dog in this day and age. Probably some sort of genetically altered that What? Um, I'm guessing it is not malfunctioning. Oh, damn it. That is a giant cannon. And that's the alert saying that it's about to fire off, I'm guessing. Well, this isn't working. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Can you hear me? Hello? Don't come down. down there? What do you mean you can't identify him? Sunbeam, no! Stay
Stay away! Turn around! Go away! Sunbeam! No! It's Get back out! Building. No! Why was I born a mute? Gets. Why was I born a mute? I guess. I guess. Yeah. That's that. That's it. Oh, are you moving back into position now? Okay, fine. Go back to sleep, you piece of shit. Well, I guess that doesn't. That means no rescues coming for us. We need to find our own way off this island. Or off this, uh, off this planet. Oh, stop your celebrating. Okay, well, I'm gonna start heading back to the life pod, and I guess we'll come up with some sort of plan to try and get off this godforsaken planet. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching. That was a very unfortunate event, but, um,. We're survivors. We're going to keep going. We're not giving up just because, you know, our easy way off the world just exploded into a thousand tiny little bits. There's got to be some way we can get off. Maybe salvaging something from the Aurora, perhaps. But uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. Um, next time we're going to try and, I guess, organize some plans to uh, for... I guess perhaps an extended stay on this planet. See if we can find some other way off. Maybe something that has to do with the alien technology that we discovered. But, uh... Yeah, thank you for joining me so far. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please let me know by leaving something in the comments section. Um, if you have any ideas for stuff you'd like to see us change on our channel, please let us know. We appreciate feedback. Um, or if you'd like, you know, just... Leave a like or hit that subscribe button. It lets us know that you enjoy what uh, what we're doing, and it helps us keep going. Um, thank you once again for uh, joining me on this episode. I'll see you next time. Bye.